and see pure and simple videos. Hey everyone, this is JR with JP Tech Tree. This is just a follow up on my recent video on the ROG Ally getting stuck on the logo for its boot. So, had some nice um, suggestions from everyone and I was gonna do that but I decided to scratch the unit with just doing a Windows 11 install uh, remove all the partition that the uh, Rogue had I think it had like five or six partition and then from then on just download the drivers from Asus and then AMD for the Armor Crate Lite and see how it works so far Oh, by the way, I'm still rocking the Asus case, you know, um, I really like it, nice, compact, it's been very solid with me so far. I, I've been testing out some of the other casing that's coming in, like that. So, the problem I had was... When you turn them on after sitting for a while it will get stuck at the logo and right now I don't have that problem so far I had no problem but did I see any improvement in batteries just doing a Windows 11 fresh install um, gonna test out more on it um, but so far you know I like it um, there's no add-ons or anything Windows 11 the drivers for the device including the fingerprint and all that and then of course the armor crate light so that way you can manage all my games I, I like it um, this is a nice menu screen and as you can see still got all your things and all that you can add on things uh, as far it goes but so far I'm gonna do more testing on this and then see what happened um, I'll do another update but so far I um, had no problem but I, th I think that's a problem with the their memory card reader um, there's a, I've been reading up uh, people been getting problem with it so do more testing but for now um, I like the fresh install um, you can do it yourself just you know download the drivers from the ASUS and don't forget to download my ASUS also so that way you can get some of the updates and all that and then of course go to the AMD website and download the Armor Crate Lite and let everything do the updates and it should work out good oh also a lot of people have been asking some of the, the nod things. They got from Amazon. Um, I think they come with eight or nine. And it goes on really nicely and they fit real real nice and give a nice grip to it. And basically it works with you know those retro handheld ones too. And when you put it on it actually has better control for some reason. Then the stock one, so I got it on the what is RG505. It's a nice device. Also work with the switch, you know, um, and they go they go on real easily, um, real quickly, and also works with the Steam Deck. And then, like I said, there's more things coming in. I got skins, and I got different bags, you know. And they have uh, what to call that casing like this one's for it, you know. But I tried out some, some of the other bags. And to me, they're really, really big. You know, I just want to carry my device and then maybe some memory card. Like, yeah, you can put your unit here. You can put your um, hub. Oh, by the way. I love this hub. 
if you guys are looking for a good hog for your unit this one is great because I've been looking for one that has two USB-C one for power can charge 100 watts and then data HDMI 4k 60 and then of course USB-A 3.0 three of them and it'll dock on the Steam Deck or the Ally uh, you guys seen them on me using it on the other video again try out some of this $29 case and all that just put in your things like that put this in I mean it's okay if you're gonna carry all your stuff oh boy really big yeah it's nice to have that handle but you know compared to this here I like this um, you see size different yeah I, I, I prefer I, I'm glad I hang on to the Asus uh, OEM case I mean this is okay but it's a little bit too big I mean it's solid case but I'm just fine with this but anyway that's just a quick video follow-up on the issue I had with the boot up where it would just hang in there but I'm gonna do more testing with just doing a fresh install of Windows 11 and then downloading the drivers from ASUS and AMD for the Armor Crate Lite and do more testing and see how it work out if there's different in performance or battery there should be because there's nothing add-on I didn't even sign in to my Microsoft account you know but anyway um, if you enjoyed the video give me a thumbs up and hit the like button subscribe my, to my channel there's more videos coming up and hit the notification so you'll be notified when the next video coming up which is very shortly again Thanks for everyone that helped on uh, some suggestion. I might try one of the uh, users' suggestion is remove the uh, SSD and then reset everything and then see what happened. But so far, I have no problem. And again, thank you so much. Until the next video, you guys all be safe. Thanks. Yeah.